The next part of the healthy cell concept is called cell food. You see, the cells of the body rely upon us. The reason they rely upon us is because they cannot do the grocery shopping. They would like to be able to tell you what they need, but they can't even do that. They have to take what we give them and then try to figure out what to do. You see, we have been feeding these cells people food. And there's a difference between people food and cell food. Show you a very, di uh, very simple way. If you had some beautiful dogs, you would feed it dog food, right? It's the best you could find. What about rabbits? You wouldn't feed rabbits dog food, would you? You'd feed it rabbit food. You've got 75 trillion cells. What are you going to feed them? Cell food. All we got to do is find what do you need, you see. All human cells throughout the entire world, regardless of where you are or what country you live in, your nationality or anything else, all human cells need the same nutrients. Regardless of your age, you all need the same nutrients because each cell individual needs the same nutrients. And our scientists know what those nutrients are. They're not a secret. We just haven't been told. As a medical journalist, I know that the cells need 57 nutrients. And the high on the list of 57 nutrients were the 20 amino acids. Now, why do the cells need 20 amino acids? Because they're human cells. And human cells need 20 amino acids in order to produce a human protein. All of the proteins of your body were manufactured by the cells themselves, and they have to have all 20 amino acids. In fact, if you only have 19 amino acids, when it gets ready to produce a protein molecule, the cell simply cannot produce a protein molecule. It's got to have all 20 amino acids. Half of the amino acids are known as non-essential. The other half are known as essential, which is a misnomer. All amino acids are essential in order for your body or your cells to produce a protein molecule. The reason they're called non-essential is because the cells are smart enough to manufacture half of them themselves. But all amino acids are essential. Now, what's a vitamin? We've all been told it's a food supplement. It's not a food supplement. It is a food vital. All vitamins are important. All vitamins are necessary. It's part of the cell's menu. They need all vitamins. What in the world is a mineral inside the body? Why do we need minerals? Do you know that the amount of active minerals inside the body right now wouldn't even fill a thimble as big as the little finger? Let me explain the function of a mineral. It's so amazing. You see, if you study the cells of the body, you'll find that all of the activity done inside the cells, all activity is done by enzymes. You can use a, a, the word enzyme, or another word would be factory worker. Anything done inside a cell is done by an enzyme. Anytime the DNA needs to communicate with an enzyme, it sends an electronic message out to the enzyme. If you study an enzyme, you find that an enzyme is a protein molecule with a trace mineral at the end. Each trace mineral has its own electrical frequency. So the DNA sends an electronic message out to the enzyme and is picked up by the trace mineral. And the trace mineral tells the enzyme what it's supposed to do and where it's supposed to go and how it's supposed to function. Without the trace mineral, that enzyme cannot function. Because we have thousands of uh, enzymes in the body and each group of enzymes has its need for its own trace mineral. If a trace mineral is missing, then those groups of enzymes simply cannot function. And do you know that the enzymes are the things that actually utilize the vitamins? And if you don't have the uh, trace minerals, the enzymes don't work, and if the enzymes don't work, you can't even use the vitamin even if you had it. The food the cells would select, if they had their opportunity of doing the shopping rather than relying upon us, would include all of the vitamins, minerals, amino acids, essential oils, carbohydrates, and so forth. You know, there is a growing body of evidence that suggests that proper dietary habits, including proper supplementation, will help the body battle many ailments that plague modern life. It is exciting to see that science is finally recognizing this long overlooked area of study. And if the cells are going to be healthy, then you are going to be healthy. You see how simple that is?